you finally find acrylic organizers that fit perfectly in the IKEA Alex drawer after years of searching. These rubber bumpers stops from sliding. So satisfying. Look at this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh my God. Isn't it great? Chris. I know, it's my dream. <laughs> I have goosebumps everywhere. <laughs> this is out of this world. In one of my previous videos, I showed you guys how to fold your clothes just like the way that I do, and this is the reason why. When you file fold your clothes, it's so easy to see exactly what shirts you have, so I'll never have to pull out every single shirt just to figure out which black one I wanted. I also do this with my leggings, my pants, basically anything that I put in a drawer. Trust me, it helps. I need bread, I need cheese, I need lettuce for the sandwich, OJ juice, I'll be sipping for the balance, ooh, yeah, give my sauce, look and finish, yeah. Bu arada bir tane lavuk var. Bana çok benzemiyor mu amına koyayım? Şimdi biri yazmış çete. Oğlum bu bana çok benzemiyor mu amına koyayım? <gülüyor> Ananı sikiyim. Madem lavuk bize bu kadar benziyor. Bari değerlendirelim bunu yani amına koyayım. Bir insan nasıl Alvin'e benzeyebilir ya? Böyle bir şey var mı amına koyayım? organization hacks. So if you have a mess of cables like I do, then this thing is a must. Because this is what my shelf used to look like with a lot of loose, ugly cables. So to instantly organize them, I got this on Amazon for like 10 bucks. And the way it works is you just grab your bundle of cables, put the clip tool over them, and just slide it down into the sleeve like a zipper. Plus you can easily break out cables anywhere on it, fit your unique setup. So it's a pretty clever way to easily streamline your cables and cords, protect them from pets, instantly tidy up your place. Three days ago, I cried on the internet. I got so many comments saying that you guys just felt so seen and not alone. Although the main focus of my content is aesthetic, I also want to show you guys the real raw moments. So I'm starting a new series called Behind the Aesthetic. Hoy te tenemos un tip para que tu baño siempre huela delicioso. Antes de poner un papel nuevo, échale unas gotitas de aceite esencial al cartón. Pídelo en Justo MX, el super 100% digital. Y recuerda usar el código Organizers para recibir tu descuento. Para elevar el look del baño, acuérdate de doblar así el papel y sellarlo con unas gotitas de agua. También puedes ponerle aceite esencial a pedacitos de algodón y meterlos dentro del bote de basura antes de colocar la bolsa. Así siempre que lo abras va a oler rico. organizing expert when i am sourcing product for your pantry there are a couple things that i consider number one your budget and number two the measurements of the space yes i know the product in your pantry can add up quickly but as long as you are purchasing items that maximize the depth or the height between the shelves then it is the best investment after organizing our laundry counter, I thought it was time to start tackling the cabinets. I started by rolling up our cleaning towels and putting them in these organizers. I actually found this organization set designed for laundry rooms at Walmart. Whenever I organize, I try to leave some space so I have room to grow in the future. I use the other organizers in the set to store all of our laundry essentials, like lint rollers, dryer sheets, and vacuum attachments. Once I filled all the organizers, I placed them back in the cabinet. And here is the final result. I love the way it turned out. <laughs>
I'm just playing. <laughs> What is Ramadan? People say we're fasting. That's only a part of it. It is the month of peace, the month of tranquility, the month of cure, the month of goodness, the month of forgiveness, the month of mercy, the month of attaining paradise, the month of the Quran, the month of revelation, the month of celebration of being a Muslim where we practice self-restraint. We don't just do what we want. We do what the Almighty has ordained, subhanallah. So it is our duty to make an effort with the word of Allah.
This is what it's like to work at Sephora. Hi, welcome to Sephora. How can I help you? Oh, look at you. How brave. Thank you. Can I help you with something? Yeah, my daughter's going back to school next month and I heard NARS has a back to school collection. Yes, they do. It's right over here. Oh, these lip glosses are just gorgeous. What are they called? Yeah, it's a... Uh, bus stop bl up. Oh, my. And the other one? That would be... Gang bang the erasers. Oh, well, isn't that unsavory? <laughs> How about the blush? Teacher's c pet. Ma'am, are you okay? I know the names are a bit much. No, I'm just remembering my reunions coming up. Este organizador está a solo 92 pesos en Temu. Había escuchado que Temu tenía artículos súper baratos y de calidad, así que me animé a pedir unas cositas. Entre ellas, este organizador de tocador que quería desde hace mucho porque mis cosas necesitan su propio espacio o las ocupo y las dejo aventadas y desordenadas. Quería este organizador porque está minimalista, se ve elegante, está coqueto. Esto está gigantesco. Pero no me animaba a comprarlo porque estaba arriba de los 800 pesos. Pero terminé pagando solo 92 pesos porque aproveché el 90% de descuento que tiene. En tu página encuentras todo tipo de artículos artículos con grandes descuentos y tienen garantía de 90 días. Si eres nuevo usuario, tienes 90 días de envíos gratis. Puedes obtener más descuentos utilizando este código que está apareciendo en pantalla o dirigiéndote al enlace que está en mi perfil. Hay descuentos y ofertas relámpago que solo son válidas las próximas 24 horas después de hacer clic en el enlace de mi perfil. Así que córrele, busca todo lo que te gusta y adquiérelo al mejor precio. How much would I get for one million dollars? A few weeks ago, I made a one dollar lip gloss and a lot of you guys wanted me to make a million dollar lip gloss. So I did some research and found the most expensive items to add onto this lip gloss. The first thing we're going to be adding is 24 karat gold pigment. This pack of pigment alone costs $10,000. So I'm going to use a tiny bit just because I don't want to waste too much of this pigment. Next, we're going to add real alien skin from Area 51 into our lip gloss. Now, you really can't put a price tag on alien skin because it's so valuable but here's what's more expensive real alien ashes i had to really look hard to find these because they were really expensive and now it's time to mix our most expensive lip gloss now to be honest with you this lip gloss costs way more than a million dollars so i really don't want to waste any of this lip gloss to be honest this lip gloss came out way prettier than i expected and here's how the swatch looks it looks so beautiful but tell me is this worth a million dollars Day nine of moving into my new house. Today I worked on organizing the fridge. I got all of these little fridge bins and the string dispenser, which is really cool, but it pissed me off because I was too stubborn to wait till my fiance came home to put it together and I'm weak and had to use a water bottle just to like snap everything into place, but I got it. It took so long, but I got it. I got the fridge cleared out, got everything wiped down, then got all of our food into these little bins. Then I went to put in the drink dispenser and realized that I'm not only weak, but also stupid because I didn't measure it at all and it did not fit at all. Um, it only fit on the bottom shelf and then the fridge wouldn't close but it took me so long to put together i was determined to make it work i just switched the top and bottom shelf and thankfully it, it did work but i got everything else in the fridge just kind of put into place i was planning on organizing the entire rest of the kitchen today too but it took me all day just to do this oh i also got this drink dispenser what an egg dispenser which is really cool it's really fun i've been playing with it but yeah i didn't get anything else in the kitchen organized because it took me all day <laughs> to do this but i love how it turned out so it's okay this week I started on my spring cleaning. The first room on my list was my bedroom, so I stripped the sheets and removed the mattress topper. Then I used my lint brush to remove any dust on the headboard. Next it was time to wipe down the side tables. This was much overdue. Then I moved on to my shutters and I used my flash duster. This is honestly the quickest and easiest way to clean slatted blinds like these. 
Then I moved on to sorting out my dressing table. Honestly, I'm terrible at putting things away at the moment. After that, it was time to wipe down the mirrored wardrobe doors. These are forever covered in little hand marks. Once the bedding was dry, I put that back on the bed and added a little bit of baking soda with some essential oil to the mattress to get it smelling really good. Hoovered that up using my Shark vacuum, then used my Lenore crease release on the sheets because I do not have time to iron bedding. Popped all the pillows and pretty things back on and then I was back with my Shark cordless vacuum again. Let me tell you, this thing is amazing. It's so good at picking up any sock fluff on the carpets. Then I spritz some pillow mist and that's this room done. Tell me why every time you start a project, you severely underestimate the amount of time and energy that's gonna go into it. And then you look up at the clock and it's suddenly 9 p.m. and your house is a complete disaster. Everything is still out from dinner to the kids' toys to just clutter everywhere. And then if you're anything like me, an overwhelming feeling just takes over me and I start panic cleaning. I cannot help it. Now, the best way to describe a panic clean is like when someone texts you and they're like, hey, I'm five, 10 minutes away from your house and they come unannounced. Are you kidding? That is the worst. And I swear I'm a clean person, but somehow every Every time that happens, my house is a mess. So then you're like kicking it in high gear and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes the best cleans happen that way. So here we are. I'm cleaning my kitchen and currently just working on the sink. I have had a crazy busy day of just momming. I don't know what it is, but sometimes my kids are just extra. Do you guys have those days? And then I impulse decided to repaint my KitchenAid. So that's always fun. It took every ounce of energy in my body tonight to do the closing shift. I am just totally exhausted. But I have promised myself that I will not leave a dirty kitchen. There is no worse feeling than waking up to a dirty kitchen and it's always hard to want to get it done. But it's like a good workout. You never regret doing it when it's finished. night my vanity fell over and shattered sad day and i was having a really bad dream right over there when it happened so i woke up screaming bloody murder kata said i was also shaking really bad oh there's a fly oh. it was a very scary experience because i thought somebody was breaking into our house i found my bracelet but anyways i need to do my makeup and as you can see this mirror is completely done for unless you think super glue would work hmm. foundation concealer my Glow filter. Ooh. I found my eyelash glue. I'm gonna do my makeup, and if there's anything I'm missing, then I'm gonna look for it. I just have a few bracelets that are just like in it. I still haven't found the lid to this though. I found the lid. Let's go. I am missing a foundation. I mixed two colors together in the summer. I don't know where it is. I guess I'm just gonna have to look pale today. Makeup is done. I look like I'm the same shade as my shirt. Yeah, it's reflecting. I don't have any gloves, but I found this oven mitt. Yo! <gasps> Yay! 
It looks so strange without a mirror. Oh! Don't worry, folks. My superhero reflexes kitchen right on time. You find yourself complaining that your closet is just too small. Instead of adding more hangers and packing stuff in, it's time to get things organized. Here are ways you can maximize space in your closet. I think we all wish we had a little bit more space. But even if I had more room, I'd probably end up filling that up too. That's why a good place to start is a purge. A good principle, if you buy something new, get rid of something old. A classic trick is to start by hanging all your hangers backwards. As you wear items, put them back the correct way. That way over time, you can see what you wear versus what you don't. After a few months, anything on a backwards hanger, it might be time to say goodbye. I also like to keep a donation bin. I can fill it up with items when I run across things I don't need anymore. To really maximize space, use a hanging organizer. You can fit a lot more and it gives you more options for organization. Even in small closets, add inexpensive drawers to optimize storage. If you use a shoe rack, alternate them so they nest and take up less space. This usually gives you enough space to fit in an extra pair of shoes. Instead of fumbling with boxes on top of boxes, make the switch to more convenient storage. Much better. For piles of clothes, I like to use bins, especially on taller shelves. That way I can get to what I need really easily. There it is. Five of my non-negotiable daily cleaning tasks. Me doing these five tasks every day helps me keep the house in order. It's less overwhelming when it comes to my deep clean on a weekend. Number one, it's law the bed. Never leave the house without making the bed. It makes the whole room look much neater. Tidy mind, tidy life. If you are somebody who has a larger family, get the kids involved. If you struggle for time in the morning, try and get up 20 minutes earlier than usual. Or set a timer. I love a good time to clean. Competitive, I like to beat the clock. Number two, hoovering top to bottom. Non-negotiable, especially when you've got a dog. My dog's not allowed upstairs, but she does creep up from time to time, I'm not gonna lie. Coffee breaks are essential to life. Also, never go a day without a good air freshener. Not stingy with those sprays. Number three, I say it all the time, the toilet. A bleach a day is gonna keep the skiddies away. Nothing worse than a dirty toilet. Put a bit of bleach in, this is gonna prevent lime scale. Then it won't cure it. Wipe it down with some disinfectant. I don't use gloves, I'm sorry if it's offensive. I'm not scared of the toilet. Also, when spraying disinfectant, make sure you leave it to sit for a couple of minutes. It's not sitting, it's not working. Before the washing, do a load a day. Play a lot of sport so it's like six people live here. Yes, I use the drum for the softener, unethical I know. Just like to keep the washer drawers clean. It's still working, it's still effective. Number five, the floors. Not gonna lie, I probably do my floors twice a day. I also like to do it on my hands and knees. Love you, bye. This is how you're gonna plan your next birthday event. In 2022, I discovered how much I love planning events and little get-togethers, so I thought I would give you guys some tips on how to plan your next event. First step, you wanna find a concept. I always go on Pinterest and create a visual board. That way I can see everything that I want and all the types of photos, outfits, and decor I want for the event. Then I make a visual board on my iPhone notes, and this might be a little bit extra, but it ensures you that you get all the types of pictures that you want on your birthday so you don't have to stress. Then it was time to choose a location, and I came across this Airbnb be on tiktok and i wanted my theme to be like a girly glam sleepover when it comes to food and decor i always look up local businesses in the area so i was able to get most of my items sponsored for the event i love making itineraries so i made mine on canva then i printed it out at walmart and then i picked up some pajamas and face masks and little goodie bags because i wanted to give my group that exclusive friendship experience then i was searching on tiktok and i found this edible glitter and you can put it in any single drink and it makes it really pink and pretty then for dinner we kept it pretty simple we made some salads some pizzas and some pastas that way everyone had kind of a variety of different things then i picked up some matching pajamas for everyone on amazon we all got ready together and then we basically took content and had fun so this was the mood board that i created for the event and this is how it turned out let me know if you guys like this series and stay tuned for the youtube vlog bye
organizing all my markers. I set the timer for one hour, so let's see what all we can get done while my son naps. I'm curious what system or schedule you used for your laundry because we had a really good one before we moved and lately life has just been too crazy. So I am way slacking and honestly just always playing catch up. When I get the kids down, I am always just so tired. What is it about being a mom that in the afternoons you are just dead? Since the day's not even close to being over, I grabbed a little pick me up. I played catch up on dishes because we did bake and cook a meal already today. So I needed to go ahead and run the dishwasher and then I just cleared off the island. Are y'all ready for the craziness of Halloween next week because we have been up late working on our costumes and I feel like it's just crazy that the holiday season is already here and also so overwhelming but fun. I think I'm especially excited this year because Texas had such an extreme summer. I felt like we were literally hidden inside all summer long. So in case you were wondering, I feel like some people think it's kind of funny to time yourself cleaning but there's so many times in my life where I felt like because I didn't have time to clean my entire house, I couldn't clean it at all. I can't even count the days where I was holding a screaming newborn thinking, oh my gosh, I only have 10 minutes to be productive on this house that is driving me absolutely crazy. But when I set that timer, it just motivated me so much. I honestly did not have very good mental health living in complete chaos and I felt really out of control. So as I've got to know myself a little bit better as I've gotten older, I definitely know that one of my triggers is when things start to get really out of hand. So I just try to maintain to make it a little bit easier on myself and the timer trick really helped. I put away Remy's clothes while she's at school and then I just wiped down her bathroom. She will tackle this messy room when she gets home. <laughs> now our hour is up and it's time to go get my daughter from school and wake my son up from nap.
Fridays are for Aaron, so that's what we're doing today. First, my mom car really needs some attention. I guess we could start with all the things hidden in my car from Home Goods, and then all the boxes that we got as well for moving. Cleaning out my car has never really bothered me that much, minus the extreme weather seasons, which right now in Texas, holy cow, it is freaking hot. I was just dripping sweat while I was cleaning. It was so gross. Amazon is always coming in clutch with these organizers, and then I also decided just to keep a box for swim stuff 24-7 in my car along with that emergency kit. Serious question, when and where are you supposed to clean out your car to avoid heat stroke during the summer? I just did a quick power wash on the mats in the car and I'm just gonna let them dry while I go out today. Grass in my hair. Stuff grosses me out, but it's also like so satisfying. It gets so much dust and crumbs out of my air vents and cup holders. I freaking love it. My son is currently in the I don't like the car wash phase. So when I'm kid free, that's where I'm going. I think I've got about two days left to return all these Amazon outfits that I didn't like. It has literally been five weeks since I got my nails done and they look freaking rough. This one popped off, this one chipped off. Name something better than going to the nail salon and getting your fingers and toes done at the same time. What's the fastest nail appointment of my life? My pedicure girl literally massaged me like this. Like I could hardly feel it. I did like a hot red on my toes, which is very much not like me. We did do my favorite color that I get every single time, which is like a pale pink. Best color ever. I'm starving. Time to scarf this down in Carlin. Go get my babies. Cheers to Friday. Hi guys, hope everyone's having a great start to the new year. As you know, we're still off work at the moment, but being a cleaner, the job doesn't stop when you're at home. So here's a quick freshen up in my daughter's bedroom that I did today. Started off by making the beds clean and bright, of course, nice and tucked, our little touches, rolling froze up, and then it was the other bed that had the tuck treatment and all the little touches. Then I had a few clothes I needed to just get put away, so that was the next job. After to this, it was at that mirror. <laughs> Every time I walk in this bedroom and I see a mirror, I'm like, Frankie, why'd you touch the mirror? A dressing table is not to my standard at all so today i'd had enough so it was getting a good clean so i started off with the anti-back wipes getting all the bits of i could getting the piece of random sellotape that's on there <clears throat> once i'd done this i decided to use the pink stuff paste i'd literally put a little bit of water in the pink stuff tub and i was able to just get the right consistency for what i needed to get any makeup marks it actually removed some nail varnish as well this method and then that was the result. Everything back clean and bright, just like we like. And then I got all the little bits put back on. And then it was onto a TV side where it all got had a little freshen up. And then I'm using the Pink Stuff Window and Glass Cleaner. We do love this product as well as the Windowing Diamond Shine. I got that mirror back looking fresh. She better not touch it. And then this was the finished result, ready for when she comes home from school. How long will it stay like this? <laughs>
I'm a professional organizer and here's how I transformed this kitchen and pantry into this and how much it costs. The first thing I like to do is reconfigure the kitchen if needed. This cabinet was primarily filled with random things that could live in other places in my client's home. So I removed and sorted these things, then used this cabinet to store larger appliances to create more space in the pantry. I then go through every drawer and make a clear category for it and decide what type of organizing solutions are needed. For the pantry, I take everything out and sort food into categories. I make a plan for the space and decide what type of bins to use and for what. Then I place the items back into the pantry. I make my list and head to the container store. This trip specifically was a four cart trip for a total of $1,055. I use these black wood bins for produce and large chips. These gray bins are for snacks and breads. I use these drawer organizers to organize the coffee station drawer. And the client already had a few of these Marie Kondo organizers, so I added a few more to the utensil drawers. I added this turntable to organize oils and these clear bins for baking items and also to organize the spice cabinet. For the spice drawer, I'm using this customizable system from Ucopia. All you do is cut the track to fit your drawers and your spices will not slide around on top of them. Then I added a few more bins to contain loose spices. I added these dividers to the smaller utensil drawers. These deep bins are the perfect bins for dinner items, soups, and spreads. These glass jars are so cute for quick access to snacks and I love these darker containers for coffee and they even come with a little scoop. I added the remainder of the bulk food to their containers, then printed labels and added the bin clips. And here is the final result of the pantry. I hope you love it as much as I do. Alright girls, we are going to start the process of moving all of my makeup that are in these drawers to these drawers. I also got some new organizers. We're going to start with this side and in this first drawer, I'm going to put my brushes. I'm going to be using these three because they fit perfectly. That way I can divide up my brushes too. These are all my brushes, but they're all so dirty, so I'm going to clean them before I put them in here. So, next drawer. I was testing the space with my already of these. In this drawer, I'm going to put my foundations and primers. I'm also going to add my brow products. Oh, I'm going to add this and put these. And since I got my brows done, all I use is this. Primers. YSL primer. My Too Faced primer. Still haven't tried this and I need to. And I don't have that many foundations. Oh, so I'm just gonna put concealers here too. And then here I'm just gonna put like tools. Alright, and that will be the second drawer. And then here I still have my setting sprays and powders. Okay, third drawer. This is all my blush and highlighters. I think I'm just gonna use these. Okay, these are highlighters, bronzers, and then blushes. So I'm going to put blushes. Alright, had to rearrange a little, but we got it. Okay, I think I can fit my bronzers here. Perfect. All right, come back for part two. I still have a lot to go.
my desk, so we're gonna go through all of my makeup and decide what I'm keeping and what I'm throwing away. Right, we're gonna start off with lip products. Now, I do have a seven-year-old little sister, so whatever I don't like out of here, I'm probably gonna give to her. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the things I know I'm definitely keeping. I got this as a gift, and I love it. Thankfully, didn't have to spend a fortune on it, so I'm keeping it. I'm also definitely keeping the Beauty Counter Cacao like Jelly Gloss. This is one of my favorite lip oils right now, the Heavenly Hemp one, so definitely keeping. I don't know what this gloss is, but I love it, so I'm keeping it. And then I love this nude gloss from NYX, so I'm also keeping that. Now, I don't feel like swatching these all on my lips and having to take them off, so we're going to swatch them on my finger and, like, my hand and see if I still like them. Starting off with the Kylie Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Ooh, that color's just not giving at all. It's like a really light pink. I just can't ever see myself wearing that. These four right here are the exact same shade as the Kylie one, and they're also matte liquid lipsticks, and I don't wear lipstick. I'm a gloss girl till I die, so I'm going to give these to my sister as well. This is my sister's, and I don't know how it made it into my room, so that's going back to her. Once again, these are lipsticks, and I can just never see myself wearing them, especially not in this, like, nude color because it just is too close to my skin. So we're going to give these away. This is, like, one of the cheapest glosses in the world, and I've never used it, so I'm going to throw it away. Now, this is the NYX Butter Gloss, and it's, like, a bright red, and I do think I might keep this one because I just, like... Look how pretty red that is. Yeah, I like this one. We're going to keep that. I used to love this because it's like a liquid plumping lipstick, but I've never used it since like 2018, so I'm going to throw that away. And then the Summer Fridays lip gloss, I'm obviously keeping this. There were a couple on the side that I almost forgot. I'm absolutely keeping the Maracuja Lip Tart, and then I don't know what lip oil this is, but I love it, so I'm also going to go ahead and keep that. And the lips are done. Go to part two to see my mascaras and my foundation.
I set the timer for one hour, so let's see what all we can get done while my son naps. I'm curious what system or schedule you used for your laundry because we had a really good one before we moved and lately life has just been too crazy. So I am way slacking and honestly just always playing catch up. When I get the kids down, I am always just so tired. What is it about being a mom that in the afternoons you are just dead? Since the day's not even close to being over, I grabbed a little pick me up. I played catch up on dishes because we did bake and cook a meal already today. So I needed to go ahead and run the dishwasher and then I just cleared off the island. Are y'all ready for the craziness of Halloween next week because we have been up late working on our costumes and I feel like it's just crazy that the holiday season is already here and also so overwhelming but fun. I think I'm especially excited this year because Texas had such an extreme summer. I felt like we were literally hidden inside all summer long. So in case you were wondering, I feel like some people think it's kind of funny to time yourself cleaning but there's so many times in my life where I felt like because I didn't have time to clean my entire house, I couldn't clean it at all. I can't even count the days where I was holding a screaming newborn thinking, oh my gosh, I only have 10 minutes to be productive on this house that is driving me absolutely crazy. But when I set that timer, it just motivated me so much. I honestly did not have very good mental health living in completely chaos and I felt really out of control. So as I've got to know myself a little bit better as I've gotten older, I definitely know that one of my triggers is when things start to get really out of hand. So I just try to maintain to make it a little bit easier on myself and the timer trick really helped. I put away Remy's clothes while she's at school and then I just wiped down her bathroom. She will tackle this messy room when she gets home. <laughs> now our hour is up and it's time to go get my daughter from school and wake my son up from nap.